Good morning, welcome back to the Moorhead Homestead. Uh, got a little helper home with me today. We're gonna do a few things. Um, but right now we gotta run into town for a quick minute. Hunter wants some breakfast. But later on, come here buddy. Tell them what we're gonna do later on. What we Cook gonna... crappie. That's right, we're gonna cook some crappie. We was watching one of Daniel's videos the other day. Um, him and Houston cooked some black bass that caught out of the pond over a fire on some aluminum foil with some butter and, and salt and pepper and stuff on there. Layla wants in the video. So that's what we're gonna do. Uh, I got some crappie. Ah, I got some crappie laying out in the uh, sink in there. I'm gonna have to get up to talk. So I got some crappie laying out in the sink in there, uh, trying to dethaw out a little bit. We're gonna run to town, do a few things, and we're gonna come back. And we got our little fire area that we cook right, right there. So I will uh, get me a fire going over there, burn it down, get some nice coals, put some graining over it, some aluminum foil, and then get that crappie on there all seasoned up with some butter. And uh, we're gonna have us a good lunch. Stay tuned. We are on our last stop for the day before we head back and start cooking. Come to check on the goats. We had to get them a little bit more feed today. You can see. I don't know if you can see that. It's cold. What's up, Snowflake? What's up, Lucy? <laughs> you ladies hungry? Are you hungry? Are you hungry? What do you think, Hunter? Should we give him some food? All right, let's go. Watch out, Maggie, Maggie. Watch out, Maggie, Maggie. Watch out, Lucy. Come on. Come on in, guys. Here you go. Keep doing it. Come on. Come on. I can see the goats. No flake. Hey, why are you keep going with the back? With the back. The ghosts are wobbly. What's up, Lucy? What's up, Lucy? Say? say it. What do you want to say? The goats are eating. What are they eating? Uh. You don't know? You're backing up a little bit where I can see you. Hold your hands out. There you go, like that. We're both fans. There you go. Now you can talk and they can see you. Tell them what you want to say. The goats are eating. Thank you. 
right well there kind of hmm. <laughs> look <laughs> mine came up to me huh? mine came up to me I can't hold it easy longer Hey, walk up slow to her. Did you pet her? Yeah. So, the water faucet's out here frozen over. The water's kind of low, so I'm just taking this extra feed bucket here. I'm gonna fill her up with water here and put it inside with their food. It's a little bit smaller anyways. Oh. Be easier for them to get water out of. Well, they're growing a little bit, but man, I still don't know if they're actual uh, boar and Kiko cross goats. They should be, I think they should be bigger than this by now. What do you guys think? Uh, looking at them, seeing how much they've grown since we've got them. What do you think? Think they're boar Kiko or you think we got bamboozled in their uh, like pygmy cross goats? Cause they're really, they're not getting any, any height on them. They're staying pretty short. So I don't know. I'm new to this goat business. So drop a comment below and tell me what you guys think. Well, we just got back from town. Just got the goats fed, all that stuff taken care of. We had to get Hunter some Carl's Jr. this morning. It's been a couple hours since we ate. So I'll show you, he's right here. Come on, buddy. He's trying to pull this wood down here for me. Come on. He wanted to stay home from school, so guess what? He got put to work. Is that right, buddy? Uh -huh. Mommy keeps on tricking me every time. <laughs> <laughs> Mama keeps on tricking you every time. Yeah. She said I'm not going to daddy. <laughs> Hold on, what did she say? Look at me. What did she say? Hunter, pull it this way and talk. Every time she says, I'm not staying with daddy. <laughs> you got to look. Come on, you got to look at the camera when I you can't, talk. I can't because it's so bright. Okay, okay, here you go. You're in the shade. What did she say? Um, every time mommy said, I'm not staying with daddy. Um. Then what happens? What does daddy say? I am. That's right. Daddy says, yeah, he is staying with me. Ain't that right? Yeah. We got stuff to do. Because yeah. I'm stronger than Sissy. Yeah, because he's stronger than Sissy, so he's got to stay and help me pull this wagon, you know. Sissy can't pull this big wooden pile. Yeah. Sissy, Sissy can't pull this big wooden pile. Sissy's just a crybaby. Sissy's a crybaby. <laughs> We're going to... Whoa, what are you in? What are you in? Whose truck is that? Mine. Oh, you're going to help me fix it? Um, yeah. Layla. You can't get me. I'm safe. I'm the big bad boy. <laughs>
Layla, what are you doing? She's crazy. Oh, there we go. We got some fire now. I got my helper. He's it. What are you eating? What is that? What is that? Is it good? Whatever it is, it's pretty good, I guess. So, um, I got all my seasonings out. I got my crappie thawed out. And now we're just going to season it up, put it on this fold, and we're going to head out. So stay tuned. All right, so I'm just going to try to keep this as basic as possible. Um, I'm going to put some butter down first, and then I'm going to put some, do some regular black pepper, some salt, a little bit of garlic powder, and onion powder. And then I'm going to put just a little bit of this Lowry seasoned salt on there, just because I like this on about everything. So that's pretty much all I'm going to do to this crappie. And I know... I know some of you guys are thinking, what are you doing? Because up until now, it's pretty much been a sin to cook crappie anyway, but fried it up with some potatoes, you know? So uh, this is new for me. I'm only doing, I think, six pieces. Just trying it out, testing the waters. Like I said, I watched Daniel's video on that black bass when they cooked it, him in Houston, and it looked really good. So I thought, well, I don't have any black bass, but I got some crappie in the freezer, so let's try it. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna put a little bit of butter down first. This is crappy. Is it? Is it's hard. It's the crappy, like what we fry up. You remember frying up coffee? Uh -huh. Yeah, we eat it all the time. Alrighty, there's our six pieces. Now I'm just gonna put a little bit of pepper over the top of them. Litter little just uh, regular salt here. Just a tad bit of garlic powder. I'm not really big on garlic or onion, but especially onions. I kind of like the flavor of onions, but uh, I don't like the texture of them, so. And finally, this Lowry seasoning. Alrighty guys, that's it. We're gonna probably go inside and try these up. Uh, it's kind of windy out here right now, so I don't wanna, I don't know if the wind's gonna be distorting this sound or not. So when I do the taste test, I'm gonna go inside. Uh, it doesn't look the best. I should have had a spatula out here first of those tongs because I didn't anticipate them being so tender so fast. They literally, the first time I tried flipping them, it just ripped in half. So they have got to be good. But we're going to take all of our stuff in and we will see you in there.
All right, well, we just got back in. This looks pretty good. I'm gonna give it a shot with no ketchup first, even though I like a little ketchup with my fish. I'm gonna try this without it. So let me find me a good piece here. All right, here it goes. That was actually pretty good. I didn't know what to expect. This is my first time eating any type of grilled fish. Like I said, I'm always a strict, it's going in the fryer type stuff, you know, with some, some breading on it and whatnot. But that was actually pretty good. Hunter, you wanna try it? Try what? This fish. No. Try it with some ketchup now. It may be better without ketchup, actually. As weird as that sounds. So yeah, if you, uh, hold on, one more bite. I gotta get one more bite. All right. All right. So if you're looking for an alternative way to cook crappie, now I get, if you're cooking for a large crowd, you'll probably want to stick to the fryer because you can cook a whole lot more at a time. But if it's just a small family outside during the summertime or whatnot, you got a little bonfire going, a little, little fire pit, I suggest you do this because this is really good, people. Um, it, like I said, I put some salt and pepper on there, a little bit of Lowry season salt, some onion powder, and garlic powder. That's all I had on there. And uh, yeah, it was really good. So uh, I'd like to thank Daniel for giving me this ideal. It was great. So um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet here at Moorhead Homestead, Go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well. Notification bell to stay up to date with us. And Hunter, you wanna come tell them bye? Make sure you like the video. And subscribe. Subscribe. So thank you. Thank you.